Hi everybody, I'm Photon EM and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC full release. And um so we've made our way into the oil biome. I'm already pausing <laughs> so much. Okay. Made our way down here. Um I'm just the main thing is to free up all this oil. There's just a tiny bit of zombie spores there, so I think we'll be safe. We're gonna just let all this oil flow down to here so we can start making plastic and then we'll start worrying about exploiting this. So this is planned out, but it, there's no access to it right now. So, and then I figured, well, at first I was thinking to put the plastic maker over here so it would get, the steam would get cooled. And then I realized this is way too cold and the steam would turn to ice. So I'll put it up, I'll put the, plastic thing up here and um, let's just see I actually forgot how big it is polymer press plastic thing polymer press um, and get some passive cooling from the core down here so that's part of what they're working on the main exciting thing over here is that we've got all the fossil in there so well maybe not all of it because I just dug a bunch more up but I'm ready to go so that means this is ready to go uh, so destination and hopefully there's enough air in here uh, oh no there is not wait hmm huh, yeah no this uh, mask has a little bit in it, but I guess we're going to have to pump some oxygen into that before we go. Which just gives them time to put a little more fossil in there. Okay. And up you go. Is this one, two, three, four? Okay, can reach. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Oh, and then this area, this is where the fridge is gonna go. So it'll have, uh, Um, so it'll have CO2, and we just need to make sure that we build this before we finish this. I don't know if they'll be able to reach the bottom tile, though. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so here on Flapito, we are starting to put in the, what I think of as the magma habitat. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I'm doing mop instead of sweep. Um, over here, we need to sweep all that. So I'm gonna do a double layer wall, but I'm not making a double. So I'm gonna try just dropping this amount and maybe this amount. So the tank is a little smaller than I initially was talking about. Also, I saw the exploit for getting, um, for um, sanitizing these, this oxygen. And I kind of want to try it, so I'll probably eventually build the tank um, to the right of this if we need to expand it. And um, let's see. Okay, so the next step we can actually start on, which is this. I'm sure you noticed that they're going to get trapped right here. <laughs> and uh, let's see, um, here, here I'm going to top these mountains <laughs> and uh, make this flat and then I produced a little bit of glass so we can try getting some solar power going on, but I didn't, I 
Wanted to also make sure it wasn't going to heat this water up too much to make a bunch of glass. And it looks like it's okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and make a little more. And, um, oh, I dug over here because I ran out of obsidian. I put all of it through the, um, through the teleport. So I'm, oh, this is an obsidian. This is phosphorite surrounded by obsidian. Okay, well, I'm going to dig that out. And I don't know why these bees aren't producing uranium, enriched uranium. I mean, maybe it's because of the height, one, two, they can go above, but these bees went all the way this far to the left and right, which means these, they can reach this. I don't know if they could reach that. I don't need all these, this anymore anyway, so maybe I'll undo that. I don't understand why there's so much oxygen down here, but okay. And I pretty much dug up all of the bleach stone over here. And I'll just show you this one. Um, the robot's dead now, but I had it to start to put in kind of the basics of a structure where du dupes could be housed. Um, this uh, would be a water pump, and you know this could be whatever, another layer here and another layer here. So um, I had that started. Uh, just checking out if this... Okay, this is all frozen. Okay, and back over here. Okay. That looks all right. I really do need to cut off the base. The oxygen supply needs to be more contained over here, but whatever. Let's take a look at algae. I mean, eh, eh, it's not great. But the thing is, once we get this going and we'll pump this water to get the oil, then we can have a pretty decent amount of food. And this, I think up here, I will just have to drop this down. So this is gonna be isolated eventually from, so all of these plants. <laughs> um, but I just don't, I don't know what else to do really. I mean, yeah, I guess I could pump this as well. Put up, put in separate pumping. Um, I'll think about it, think about it, but no, I need to isolate it at first just to get in there. So because of where the Atmos suits, those could be moved too, but still you need Atmo suits to go down here and up here. So this will have to be cut off. One option is to put the Atmos suits like here and cut all of this off. That's probably what I'll do eventually. So anyway, um, I like to slow it down in case stuff happens while I'm introducing <laughs> what's going on. But, uh, oh good, here comes our gas. So, um, so the goal is that we're gonna get the plastic over here so that we can do the research to get the uranium rockets so we can go a little further. Um, I could get a steam rocket and go a little further that way, but uh, we don't really have that much power. We're burning through. Uh -oh. Ren. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is another story. I had to open this up because this would only open from the left. And then I put this in so I could cut them off from doing what Ren just did. So hopefully he'll make it back in time. But uh, um, I forgot to lock it. So my thought was also, well, this CO2, it'd be fine if it just flowed down here. 
But of course the air pressure is less over here, so instead the oxygen flowed into this area instead of the CO2 flowing out. And I put the fridges in a more stable environment, and they are already full, so I need to look and see if there's crap in there that... Like, I could just put something to dump the pickled meal, maybe. Um, crap in here that doesn't need to be in here, but it doesn't really look like it unless... I don't even think they're storing that much pinch of pepper nut. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking up here to see, okay, it has enough of all that. And, uh, okay, well, what, oh, I was talking about energy, like, I'm, I don't have enough trees. These little effers won't build a tree right here. And maybe I don't have any acorns, I don't know. Um... There's C Ugh. I don't know what I pressed. Oh, there is one. They're just not planting it here. I wonder if I accidentally stored it somewhere, because I sure don't see it. Huh. Okay, well... Um... Oh, you know what? I swept that area. Oh my god, it's over here somewhere. I bet you. Um, seed. Oops. Arbor acorn. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move that acorn back over here. Um, or I, maybe I'll just wait until they produce another one. Because, um, yeah, eventually I'll just, I have to build something and deconstruct it and blah blah blah. Eventually I'll need it anyway. Oh yeah, and I opened this up so that the hydrogen would flow across. Um, so that's what that is. And do I have obsidian again? Yes. So we'll continue this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's just... Oh yeah, that's fine anyway, but... How about if I just don't care? That works too. Um... Now here, this is a problem. Okay. And here... Just gonna let the gas. I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna save all this gas and blah. Uh, no, stupid. Stupid. I just get really greedy, I think. Okay, that'll work for now. I was gonna pump it all, but I don't have enough energy, I think is what I was saying earlier. I'm running out of this, running out of hydrogen. Um, and so I guess we're going to have to find some of the coal. Oh. Can he still get out? Yeah, he can get out. Ren. Yeah, dig your way out. That's right. <laughs> okay. Is this ready? Yes. Okay, good. Um, except I have to go to the outside, to the top, and oh yeah, acknowledge warnings and begin. It's only half field, but we're all, we're going as far as it can go, so we should be okay. And I think my idle dupes are probably over here. Yep. Oh, they didn't block themselves in. That's weird. God, I, I changed it so it saves less often, and that is partly, um, you know, because it's annoying, and it's also partly if I lose the game files, I can um, go back. Are they going to trap their little heads? Yep, they are. 
They certainly are. And then here, I need to open this up from the bottom, I guess. But for now, I think this is okay. So the outer... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. This isn't what we want. What we want is to put in... We want to block this off completely. And then we want to put in gas pumps. I forgot. Yeah. Because it's... Oh, see? <laughs> it's gonna be too hard to... Uh, um, God, sorry, my stupid brain. It's gonna be too hard to pump out the gas from this little area. This Sweetle has to go. This egg. This. And then we can block this. Um, and I initially didn't know how low this was gonna go, so I guess we need to do that. I thought I said to uproot, but maybe I didn't. We don't really have to sweep the Abyssalite, but I'm going to. And then this, no, we want igneous, it's fine, to go all the way down like that. Okay, and then um, I'll put some ladders and some pumps in here. Problem is I gotta pump it over to this area, which is pretty full of gas. But I guess I could turn off the other area. Hmm. Okay, we got slug eggs, which is from the new biome that we discovered. And yeah, I could use those, but like metal to make more hydrogen, but metal ore is... Um, so, uh, finite. So I don't think I will. That one? Oh yeah, they can reach that diagonally. So this will be obsidian across here, and then there will be a layer of vacuum to provide double insulation, and then here I'll have uh, uh, the um, automatic doors, mechanical airlocks. Once this is done, I can deconstruct this one. And I need to put in some power, and the problem is I only have... Ugh, okay. I'm gonna need to grab stuff to do that, but... Okay, so, I'll let you know. Okay. Spirit of Vessel is not in flight yet. Why is that? Oh no, it's already back on Hazard Aura. Never mind. Did I mention I put in one of these to get sunlight to do this? Um... And now, let's see. Actually, I need to put in the automation to turn that thing off. Like so, I guess. One, two, three, four. Like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I will let you know. <laughs> Talk to you in a bit. So, look at the absolutely ridiculous cooling loop that I'm building. And it's all for mealwood. Because these mealwood are too hot. I think the heat is coming from here. At first I thought maybe this tile wasn't good enough, but um, this is 32 degrees and over here it's 35. So, I don't know. It could also, th this does put out a fair amount of heat. So we're gonna piggyback off of this cooling loop, but actually it's gonna go to the habitat area first and then into this, cause this area needs to be cooler. I'm a little worried about it being too cool <laughs> because the water is um, 
way colder than what mealwood can grow in, but it'll work at first. I don't know. Cooling on this planet is just going to be a problem. Um, and just digging up some more obsidian down here. And all the fertilizer as well. I mean, whatever. Let's see. God. Okay. And then here we are pumping the air out. Okay. Wow. So uh, it's down to a few grams. And then we can continue putting in the floor. They are really bored over here, but I guess we could continue our digging project over here that I forgot about. Um, and um, I'll queue up more of that later. It's like to watch me like squint at the screen is ridiculous. Um, and here I am uh, gonna just dump another rover over here on Grow Seal and uh, just continue building that habitat and um, let's see. Let's see what's going on on Butista. They're getting there. Uh, we destroyed this spore kid and um, I can release this crude, although there isn't that much there. And uh, oh, they're here too. I doubt there's that much there, but we will uh, release that too. And then this can uh, <clears throat> can be enough to make a little. I'm gonna have to make another enclosed area over here to process the. I definitely want the the oil processing to be on the other side of the Atmos suits because of all the natural gas. And I could actually put it right here, I guess. So that's a thought. Um, oh, unreachable toilet. Ellie. Oh boy. I did it again. I thought I had queued that up so that... Oh, yeah, I did queue it up. It's just the water's not needed. So, also, um, look at this. Oops. Okay. Water. It doesn't say anything about it being contaminated. Polluted water with food poisoning. So is this something new that I didn't know about? Sorry, I forgot all my keys. But it doesn't say that the water is contaminated. So I, I noticed that a while back and I kind of forgot about it, but it doesn't appear to be contaminated. Where's the fucking... Okay, so the germ overlay isn't going to show it anyway. But if I click on this pipe, liquid pipe... Oh no, that one's empty. Okay. Uh, okay, polluted water. Oh, it doesn't say that it has germs. So I gotta think this water does have germs. It's just not showing in any of the overlays because this water definitely has germs. Okay. Uh, yeah, deconstruct. Um, probably gonna have some pea spillage, but okay. And. Building this is also a yellow alert. And yeah, down to a couple grams here and there. So that's happening. Um, I don't know if I showed you the roof over here. Getting this put in. Building it out of obsidian so I can put as many rocket platforms as I want. And. Uh, and so, good times. Um, yeah, okay, we're still in orbit. Uh, 0.3 cycles, okay. What? No, nope, that's not where I want to go. I guess, yeah, I don't really have, like, 
anything. Well, these dupes can clean up the mess, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, there isn't really much for them to do, so this will be fine. Oh yeah, I'm digging across here to get... I uh, dug across here, I guess, to get access to this area. Um, and uh, I'll do the exploit later. You need a pip for it. So I don't know if there's somebody who can ranch over here. I need somebody who can ranch and a pip. But I, I just... Uh, I'll get there. Like, I don't want to deal with it right now. Spirit of Vessel 45. So, um, just like back on the topic of ranting about this game, because another thing that irritates me is it's really a pain to record because going between four asteroids, I have to pause quite a bit, and so it takes a lot of time. And I also had to just um, decide to let them be idle, you know, because I, it's just too hard to keep all the dupes busy, as long as they're not suffocating or whatever, I guess it's fine. Let's make sure this is coming. And I'm making it worse by dropping off that, um, that thing there, because now I'm going to have to manage it, but... Um, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So, I've got most of it queued up. It'll come over here and it'll dig out some of this sand and shit, which, um, because I just want to drop this salt water down now that we found what we wanted drop the salt water down so I can get over here without flooding it even more. And then I'll continue putting in these living quarters. And I don't know why they've kind of stopped doing this and I don't know why. Um, and this is the area for the fridge, but I don't really need to move it right this second. It's still in CO2. Um, but hopefully this CO2 will start flowing downwards, because now the base is overrun here. Um, and this will help. And I'll put a fire pole here eventually, but for right now this is fine. Um, this will be moved, the transformer. I think it'll go here. And I'll move the coal down probably as well. So, okay, I guess this might be the reason why they slowed down over here. Give me a break. God, you guys are so mean. I'd love to get that crude oil right this second. <sighs> so while I'm being patient on Bautista, you know, I have to, like, go between... Holy shit. You are a really fast robot. Um, I can't dig out that. Bleach stone, but we can do this. Now who's suffocating? Liam! Stop! Oh, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, stop sleeping in there. Because he was sleeping in there when it was grounded. Now I can't fucking click on him. Liam. Why don't I have the unequipped suit? What's going on here? Oh, man. Okay, what did I do? Did I not wait for it to refuel with oxygen? That's gotta be it. Oh, you know what? Don't unequip suit. Re-equip suit. Liam. Ah, there we go. And they never do this for some reason. You've got to... Oh, no, he did it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, and what about this suit? No, it's empty. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't know if it'll be enough. You have to survive for half a cycle. Good luck, bud. Oh, I just remembered two things I keep forgetting to talk about. One is right here. Plastic. Our glossy Dreco put out. Um, I... It's only 150, so I can't make a steam turbine. And, oh, this is too hot already. Okay. This water is still too hot, apparently. I don't know why the nuclear waste, though, why it would do that, unless it was just because the pipe was broken. Because um, the nuclear waste doesn't turn into gas until it's, like, really hot. I can't remember how hot, but it's a very high number. Um, it's also a really poor conductor, so it might be perfect for this. I don't know. I'm not very good at material science. The other thing I was going to show, though, is they did finally get another acorn and plant it right there. So now I'm storing acorns here. And uh, when I get a couple, I'll move a pip down here. I forgot to do this. Oh, God. You're fucking kidding me. Come on. Okay. Why can't I say B? What? Okay, critter drop off. Okay. I can't copy the building. Okay. Whatever. It... I'm using aluminum for stuff when I normally wouldn't. But I think it's fine. Here we are on Grossiel. I'm never gonna know how to say it. Um, I guess I get to just choose. I don't think it's a real word. But anyway, I made a pit big enough that I can just dig above it without any damage, so that's what we're doing. And another great thing, uh, great, the only great thing really, I guess except for the uh, metal volcanoes about this planet, is that there's plenty of food right when you arrive. So I don't have to worry about how, uh, you know, about starvation of the first settlers that come in here. So I like that. And yeah, I also don't mind killing all the plugs, plug slugs. Um, and, well, you know, I should have deconstructed that, but I didn't. Uh, you know, speaking of landing... You can't really, but I mean, you can't build a rocket landing. Also, you know, I think it's really interesting. Look here, gold, there's refined gold on this planet. That's cool. Um, okay, so here we did get this put in and now I'm just making, I wanna make this into a vacuum so that when we dump the water. Okay, so do I need to do these two? Yeah. So that when we dump the water, I don't have to then pump out the CO2 later. And I'm putting in some arrow pots. Oh. I guess I'll... I will be digging these up anyway, so... We'll do something like that. And then I figured out that briar seeds won't grow right here. It's just slightly too, it's just slightly too hot. Um, so maybe I'll dig up this last joya. Cause this is all going away eventually. We'll dig out the whole biome. Okay, a half an hour ago probably, I was gonna show you guys this. 
I think I need to cut that off right there, yeah. <laughs> this is finally complete. I, it looks it's a hot mess, and I hate it. And that's what we got. So we're going to put six degree, minus six degree water through here and see what happens. And uh, I don't know if I showed this on camera, but we they did plant the last... Yeah, I showed it, I showed it. Um, now I remember. So we just need to cool down this area so it's already heated up 4 degrees in the pipes. Uh oh. What'd they do? Oh. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay. Both of these are like high priority. Do them now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that gave it time to cool down the area even more. Oxygen's down to 30, which I thought was all it needed, but the mealwood is apparently still above. I mean, it's down below 30. Okay. This area... This water's already heated up into positive temps. So. Yeah, still pretty hot. Yeah, this is probably our culprit. I wonder how much I need it turned on now. Um, there's another um, glossy egg, so I'm gonna wait to turn it off until I incubate that one. And yeah, over here, let's take a look at our gas. Uh, down to the micrograms. I had to open up some more walls. So this is going to be, um, it's going to, uh, I forget how to make it work. But basically this will be open, so there's a vacuum here. Maybe I should get rid of that tile. Uh, it's fine. So that if if we have any, you know, mishaps, malfunctions, whatever, it it should be an extra layer of protection. <laughs> and I was going to try a long time ago something that I'm sure won't work, which is to send this over to the artifact. And, um... Oh, I know what it is. I forgot how to make this work, but now I remember. I need one of those, um, one of those things that goes on the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is that thing called? Uh, maybe it's here under shipping? Yeah. Solid. It's a gas rocket port loader, isn't it? That's what I need. To fill this full of oxygen. Um... Okay, or is it here under ventilation? Ah, there we go. Gas rocket port loader. Will this work right here? Does it have to go on this side? It looks like it has to go on this side. Well, maybe not. But then, can this feed into here? I can't remember. I can't remember. Why don't they make it easier? Okay. Yeah, no. It doesn't look like it can. Alright, well, fuck all of that. Fuck all of it. Okay. So, um, you know, with our extra oxygen trick, we might be able to make it. And the other thing I thought is, over here, 
on beauty so I could put in another telescope. And not necessarily need a cartographic module. One, two, three, four, the telescope goes out. Would be to here. So I might do that. Um, and then here, this is kind of happening. Oh my god, I can't even move left and right. So that's good. Um, and I forgot that these things off gas natural gas. So I might put them in the same room as this. I might put this one in the same room. And then this is not blocked off, like, temperature-wise, so I'm gonna want to do that. But for now, I'm just gonna keep um, digging this down, because I kind of need the resources, and we'll fill that in. And then I'm putting in the pipe work for the... this thing. The plastic maker. And then this is on a low priority, but... Um, I did block it off so they can't go this way to get down here. They have to go this way, which re reduces the number of decisions that they have to make. And um, I'll put in a, one of these down here. Um, you know, it's going to be really ugly if I do it that way. I'll put it over here, and then I can put some doors or something. Well, kids, we're not going to take on another dupe over there because our beret corn. Thank you. That brings our total to two. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. When I have, I don't know, three or four, I'll move a pip or two into this area. And... Oh my god. Okay, this is happening. It's great. This, um, the problem is they'll hurt themselves putting that in. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> they'll get trapped if I build both of those tiles at once, is what I meant. So, so I am not gonna build them both at once. Okay, um, Enabled. Wait a minute. Storing 200 rad bolts. So why is it sending a green signal? Ah, Jesus. Okay. Why would you even do that? Nobody wants that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. A green signal when it's full. I mean, I guess you could tell it, okay, it's full so you could launch. That's oh, fine, whatever. I was trying not to use... Oh yeah, so the... Uh, so I guess we can try this. I really don't know why I'm doing it, but I want to try it. So... I don't think I have to select crew, but I'm going to. And, oh, we're ready to build another row of these. Uh, little fucker will probably get caught, but trapped, but whatever. Um, and it can also dig all of this out, I guess. And then I can kind of figure out what to put on these different levels and have it start building that stuff. So I don't think we're gonna have a huge colony here. Maybe like four dupes. I could put in enough for six dupes, maybe. Um, I have paused it right here at one second away, and we are there. And I don't know. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I don't think it doesn't appear that I can do anything. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure. So, uh, there's your answer. Artifact. Yep. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Oh, recharge. I didn't notice that before. This doesn't say re recharge. Okay. Oh, whoops. So, there is one thing we can do, which is... Go home. Hopefully, not die. But... Mm -hmm. uh, how long is that gonna take? One cycle, okay. Okay. So, I have been recording for more than two hours. And we did manage to cool down our mealwood, so that's wonderful. Uh, we are out of water. But this thing, I did check it before I did it. This is gonna be active pretty soon. Um, and it's fine. We got enough to cool that down. Although I am kind of wondering... Oh, I see. The... <laughs> I need to fix that too. So the water that... This water can actually go... So if the water goes through the whole loop and it's cool enough... Which is below 15C... Um... Then it goes back through the loop, and I didn't have it going out this way. I wonder if I found any more morph leaf. Nope. Okay. So, um, so that's fixed, and uh, this is okay for now. And over here, I didn't even check. Oh, it is a vacuum. So we can start um, putting stuff in. Shit, I didn't even see that shine nymph. God damn it. Okay, why? I thought K was kill, but it's T. I knew it was T, but just part of me thought it was K. So we can start building all of this. And that'll be something to do next episode. <laughs> and down here, yeah, uh, we're getting there, but I accidentally ruined the floor underneath these, so that slowed us down. Um, and they really, as you know, they don't like doing this particular errand anyway, so they're really taking their sweet time on that. I could speed it up by not queuing up digging, but why would I do something logical? That's not my way. This is on a lower priority, but they couldn't do anything else because they were cut off from this area. So that's where we're at now. Oh, and I don't know if I showed you, but this is a nature reserve. Oh shit, now it's in the wrong place though. Well, I can move some doors strategically, and it'll be a nature reserve again that they have to go through. Oh no, they have to go through it right here. So that's fine. So their morale should go way up over there. And over here, this is going to be a bedroom. God, I queued up so much stuff thinking, like, it won't get to it. It'll be fine. Um, I'll queue up the beds as well. Uh, but we've got some stuff going. It's gonna look kind of like uh, a base, which is, as you know, exactly what I don't like building. And here we are, building it anyway. And yeah. All right, kids. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Photonium. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.